Welcome to this webinar about how to create a business card using CorelDRAW. My name is Ariel Garaza Diaz. Let's start to creating a new document, file, new. Here we can find several options, name, size, color mode, resolution for effects, color profile, and more. If you don't like to use it, don't worry, you can change everything later. Now we can change the size on the property bar, for example, or double click on the page border, go to options, document, page size. Here we have the same option, size, resolution for effects, and bleed area. It's very important to use the real size of the document. If the real card should be 19 millimeter, the document should be the same size. After defining the page size, you should choose margins inside and outside the page. Double click again, go to page size, navigate to midline, Presets, choose user defined presets, margins, um, for example, 5 millimeters, and choose upper presets. OK. And now we can save our document. From file, save, or save as. Choose location. Name, choose Embed Color Profile, Version, Sample, and Save. If you use a background or an image near the edge of the page, you should add an extra space around. This is called Build. And here we can show bleed area around the page. This bleed area is very important because the cut is not always exactly. It's not enough to set up a bleed area. You should enlarge document or enlarge. For example, if you use a background, the background should be bigger than the file. If you go to file print, or if you create a PDF, for example, choose printer, print preview, add crop marks. You can see how to be printer the file. If you don't use a background and use an image, it's the same process. For example, go to file import, choose an image, in place. The image to be bigger than the page size. A, a rectangle, double click over the rectangle tool and go to print, print preview. Here we can see the limit. For example, if you use 4 Separate 5 millimeters or more. We can see how to be printed the file. This rectangle, of course, is not used. It's just for see the limit of the page. All file, all cards will be cropped for this line. This is the crop marks, the limit of the page. OK, now select all and delete. We will use an image as a logotype 
for example, an apple. And now we can add several pages from layout insert page, for example, seven. If you need to repeat the same logo on all pages, you can copy past it, but that increases the size of the file. For this reason, we go to Object, Object Manager, and add a new master layer on the next page. This layer is used on all pages. If you drag the image on this layer and change the page, we repeat it on all the pages. If the file size of the image is 1 megabyte, for example, and you have 10 pages, you will have 10 megabytes. But if you use a master layer, you will have only one image, only one megabyte. This is a very important difference, especially if you use several pages. But more, if you move one page, the image will be moved to the size of all pages instantaneously. Remember, all images should have at least 300 dots per inch. If you have more resolution, you can resize on the map menu, resample, and choose 300, or go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, choose 300, OK. But if you have lower resolution, it's not the same. For example, let's create a copy, go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, a lower resolution, and you, you will see the difference of quality. If you choose this image and resemble with a bigger resolution, the quality is not the same as the original. So it's not enough to assemble. Sample is useful if you reduce the resolution, but not for increased resolution. And you don't need to use more than 300 dpa dots per inch of resolution. Some people use 600, 800, and more. You will see the difference only on the screen. When you send to print, there is no difference of quality. And other important thing. All five of the match will be on the correct color mode. For example, if you use a color image, it should be on C M Y K mode. And if you use a grid scale, it should be more gray scale. Don't use RGB image or RGB fields on your shows because the color will change when you send to print. Only use RGB image or RGB fields if you will send to print to a home printers in shape or lesson. How can you know if you are using a CN, A key or RGB image? You will see the information on the bottom of the screen and you can see the file document properties. Here we can scroll and we'll see information about the content of the file. For example, import again the background and you will see the information about this new file. 
file, put on my properties, and you will see two bit bats, one CME IT, and one RCB. Another important information is the name and the resolution of the mesh. As you can see, this new background was placed on the page 1, and the master layer is hired, but you can drag the master layer to see the content over all the pages. And also, you can create a new master layer, change name, for example, background, and drag this background to this new master layer in order to see on all pages again. And of course, we should go to bitmap, mode, color mode, and change to CMA key. And now we can add a new actor layer for the name. Change name and type, for example, change point, for example, and move. You will see the order of the master layer. If you move the background, or if you move the name, or the logo. Now we can save all objects by double click or on the pick tool and press the C key for center of the map play all options. But now if you go to the page one, layer one and type any text for example name part of the text is not visible. And the reason is the background. You should move the background in the same way as you move the layer one. On top, you, you should move the background at the bottom of all the layers. Now, go down to the layer one of page one and change font size. Move and you can add a double. And this is only on page one. If you move to page two, you will not see any text. If you move to page one, and for example, copy. And paste. Copy and paste. Now you can change the name, form, or any of the other buttons. In page one, it is from the page two. When you finish, Go to File, Save, and now File, Publish to PDF, or Export to PDF, is the same result. Choose Location, Name, usually is the name, it's the same name as the document, and choose Presets, for example PDF X3, and go to Settings, and change compatibility to Acrobat 8 or 9. 
that solve all problems with transparencies and lens. You can leave all other settings, but you need to change now under WordPress tab, enable bit limit and crop max. Now we can save the preset with a new name, for example, PDF for print. And press OK. And save. Now we create a new PDF with our file. If you want to see the PDF, switch to the folder, select the file, and open with a Acrobat Reader or any other PDF reader, for example, Corel PDF Fusion. Now return to our document and we can improve the design. For example, add the form, or precise the document, or a light background, for example, and a transparency. Now, convert to bitmap, and we have a better design. And now, if you need to add a new name, copy, change page, and pass it. Now, change the name, or form, or any other, as you like. And now, save again and go to File Print. On the Print Preview, first change the printer, go to Print Preview, and add mouse, and change, for example, page 1 and 2. 1, 1, Two and two. Set the distance. We click and choose five millimeters and set the distance on four. Now you can see how to reprint that. This file is almost ready to be printed. One more thing. Under Tools, Color Management, you will see Default Setting and Document Setting. Document Settings it shows all color profile of the document. Each document has our own color profile. You should choose your color profile according with the paper and the printer. Each document has their own color profile. If you choose a different color profile, the result will be also different. So it's very important to choose the right color profile according for each document. All those basic steps are common for all kinds of shops. Poster, business cards, magazine, or any other shop that you made. Thank you, and see you on the next tutorial.